Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 346. And this is a follow-up on my previous video, 345, on tuning a single sideband frequency. And my previous video was getting a little long, so I had to bring it to an end so it wouldn't be too long. And I didn't quite go over, go over everything I wanted to show you on how to tune a single sideband frequency. And the main thing I wanted to do now is um, show you what to listen for. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to pipe in the audio from this radio into my mixer so that you can hear the audio much better instead of trying to hear it through the camera and uh, see how that works. And, I, and I'll show you, or yeah, I'll show you what the audio sounds like when you're tuning a single sideband frequency. At least that's the attempt. So here we go. So I'm going to turn uh, the radio up here. I'm tuned at 7.250. I'm in the lower sideband mode, and there is um, a net, which is uh, conversations or a chat about a particular subject going on this amateur radio band so there's a lot of activity so we'll see if that's easier to understand so I'm going to turn the audio up so that I can hear it and then I'll turn the audio up on my mixer so that you can hear it hopefully not get it too loud you can't hear me okay it turns out that uh, I've got it tuned in pretty darn good. So let me let me turn this audio down and turn my mixer audio up. Turn my speakers off so that I can't hear it. So it's not feedback. And then I can have to turn this back up so I can hear it so I can hear what I'm tuning. And like now, it's tuned in pretty good to at least one of those stations. As I said before, each station might be broadcasting slightly off the frequency of another station. So this one is slightly off from the one we were just hearing. So I'm tuning using the BFO only on the running 750. And you can see, or you can hear, hopefully, that as I turn the BFO from right to left, um, that the sound of the audio will change. So here we go. There it's tuned in. If I keep turning the knob, you should hear that it turns in kind of a dial duck voice. Now I'll go back. So there it's tuned in. I'm going past it. And it goes into Donald Doc voice again. Now let's turn the audio down so you can hear me a little better. And so I, I try to show you that what you normally do, there's a zero position on this particular radio on the BFO knob. So you want to start out typically with your BFO set to that zero. And what you're going to try to do is you're going to tune either counterclockwise or clockwise to tune in that particular signal. And typically on this radio, as you tune past the ideal spot, you will start hearing that the audio is changing to a Donald Duck voice, and it's kind of a high-pitched Donald Duck voice. If you tune back down and past again, 
to the station, you will hear it turn into another Donald Duck voice, and it's kind of lower frequency. And you, so ideally, you're trying to get between those two higher and lower Donald Duck voices to get the actual voice. And like I say, some stations, for instance, there's a lot of people talking uh, on this frequency right now. It's a net. And as I said before, they'll be slightly off frequency. So even though you've tuned one in perfectly, another one may have that Donald Duck voice and you have to tune off to get that one. And one of the things you can do is just compromise and kind of get them both in pretty good, but neither one in perfect. And that way you don't have to keep tuning it back and forth. So you just have to deal with that compromise. Now, if you're listening to a military or a weather station that's just transmitting and the signal is it's one transmission, then once you get it tuned in, it should stay tuned in. Might change because of various conditions changing, the atmospheric conditions and stuff like that. Might detune it a little bit, so you may have to retune it. Now, your old, old radios, your tube radios, for instance, have a characteristic characteristics called drift, and the circuitry in those old radios will drift as the components warm up. So you're going to have to follow and keep track of that by tuning your BFO if you have a BFO. But if the radio is, you know, in pretty good calibration and, and components are pretty well stabilized. Once it's warmed up to a constant temperature, then that drift should stop or be much small, much smaller. So anyway, that's just kind of my attempt to show you what it sounds like when tuning a single sideband channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So I kicked the camera again.